Well, thanks to that big Arctic air mass, we're going to have some cold temperatures coming in, but at least it's a dry cold. Temperatures... Whoa, 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 whoa. Every winter, we hear the same debate. Wet cold, dry cold. Which is worse? Which makes you a tougher Canadian? We all make the same comparison, but does it actually hold up? The science says no. The moisture actually doesn't make a noticeable difference. And here's why. When we're talking about damp versus dry air, we're talking about the humidity. The relative humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air as a percentage of what it would be if saturated. So let's take a look in Edmonton, where you often get those dry, cold days of the winter. Say it was minus 20 with about 50% humidity. In those conditions, you'd only have about 0.6 grams of water per kilogram of air. It's not a lot of water. Okay, so let's head a little further to the east. Well, here on PEI, we do have that damp or wet cold weather. And the reason is we're plunked in the middle of that giant bathtub of relatively warm water known as the ocean. So let's just say that it's minus 20, which doesn't happen all that often here on Prince Edward Island. Minus 20 with very high humidity. No rain, no fog, just a very humid winter day. Nearly 100% relative humidity. If I were to take that air and wring it out like a giant washcloth, I would only end up with about 1.2 grams of water for every kilogram of air. So as you can see, that damp cold really isn't as damp as it might seem. So what is making that difference? Well, you have to look at a bunch of factors. First is the wind. If you're getting a blustery minus 15 degree day on the coast, it will feel just as, if not colder than those frigid but calm minus 30 degree days on the prairies. Another is the sun. Often when it's really cold in the winter on the prairies, we're under a cold, calm and clear air mass. That little bump of solar radiation may make a bit of a difference than if it's cloudy and damp. It's also what you're used to and how you dress for it. That Toronto Peacoat has nothing on good old fashioned layering. So staying dry is also key. And that's a lot harder to do if it's foggy or actually raining. When your clothes get wet, then yes, of course, you'll get that chill to the bone sensation. So what's the takeaway here? There are a lot of factors that will influence how cold you feel at a given temperature, but the humidity probably has the least to do with it. At the end of the day, no matter what you call it, cold is cold.